Qatar, Mexico is like the Grand Central Station of illegal immigration. Every day, hundreds of migrants from all over Central America gather here before crossing. A few understand the danger that lies ahead. But most, like Felicia and her 15-year-old daughter, Wendy. Tell me, how are you getting there, as best you know? Haven't a clue. Um, let's see. I asked Wendy to show me what she'd packed. Because this is everything she's going to bring with her for the rest of her life, right? For a three-day walk through the desert, all she had was a change of clothes, half a roll of toilet paper, cookies, and two plastic garbage bags in case it rained or got cold. Part of the reason so many migrants and U.S. citizens have a hard time imagining what it's like to cross the border is that no one's ever really visually documented the experience from both sides of the border until now. This is the Border Film Project. Let's see. Rudy Adler is one of the organizers. So this photo here is of a migrant who's actually drinking out of a cattle trough. The project gave out about a thousand disposable cameras with prepaid return envelopes to both the migrants attempting to cross and the volunteer Minutemen attempting to stop them. We really wanted to show people the day-to-day -day reality of what's happening on the border. The last pictures on the roll are some of the most telling. One migrant shows off how he made it. Another ends with a Border Patrol helicopter hovering right overhead, while yet another ends in pure pain. I showed the pictures to some of the migrants I met. They were clearly unsettling, but hardly dispiriting. Wendy says she'll go to America, like it or not. You know, there's people over there that don't want you to come. She says she's been told that people in America are scared, that they can discriminate because of the color of your skin. But we're all equal, she says. If you'd like to see more of the pictures, we have a link on cbsnews.com. Meanwhile, Steve, whatever happened to Wendy? I asked Wendy and her mom to call us when they got to wherever they were going, but I haven't heard yet, so I really don't know. Hopefully they're safe wherever they are. Well, it'll be interesting for both sides to see a different perspective.